Hello, everyone. This is Kyle Galaz with Porta Pro Car Sales Training Podcast. Become a sales titan. We are in season five, episode four. We're going to be talking about being creative. Continuing season five, talking about the characteristics of a sales titan, talking about what it takes to sell 15, 20 plus cars a month, each and every month, and have a successful career. So let's dive right into being creative. What I have found out in my career is some of the most creative people in the car business are the also the most curious. They ask questions. They're trying to find things that are new. They, they're interested in things they're not familiar with. Being creative is not just doing things, it's also learning things. Being creative enough to, to think, I need to get uh, more knowledge and more aspects and more angles about the car business. Let me ask questions. Being creative in, and being curious uh, through, through being creative can also learn information about different types of customers. How many times have you met somebody that was so intriguing that we didn't ask questions about, we didn't learn more about how that person got to where they're at, or how that person, um, you know, came to the conclusion to do business with your dealership. Sometimes asking questions can help you be more creative. So remember, some of the most creative people that I have met in my career are also some of the most uh, curious. They got curiosity, and not the curiosity that killed the cat, right? They they just want to know everything possible. And they seem to explore and try to comprehend new things. Um, And they try new things too. So remember, if you want to be creative, let's start with being curious and and figuring out things to be creative. Not everyone is born with a creative outlook on everything. Some people are very analytical. Some people have a a very mathematical mindset. And then there's the the art type of people out there, the artsy people that... They, they don't think inside the box, right? They don't think within the structures of, of society. And if you can tap into a little bit of that creativity in the car business, then you're gonna be able to tap into a new set of customers and get in front of more people. And being creative is more than just being creative in front of the person that's in front of you, right? Being creative in front of the customer that you have in front of you. Being creative could be social media, outside networking, um, at public events. Being creative with advertising yourself, being creative with how you do walk-arounds, being creative with, with all kinds of aspects in the uh, in the car business. And I'm telling you, people that are creative and a little bit different are the ones that stand out not only to the customer but also to the dealership, the owners, the GMs, the sales managers, because they can't quite put a, a finger on or a thumb on what in the heck makes you tick. Well, how does he sell so many cars? What is he doing to get customers in front of him? He doesn't He doesn't play by the normal rule book. So being curious uh, and being creative is very, uh, it's a good trait to have in the car business. Okay, so let's continue on being creative. What about being imaginative, thinking big? This is where I see a lot of people trip up, not, in the, not only in the car business, but in life in general. I meet so many people daily that are, that our customers and, and people getting service and things like this, that they're stuck in their boundaries of how they were raised. Uh, yeah, you go to work, you earn a living, you store away for, for retirement, and then you retire and die. And that is the, the majority of the general public out here. But that's not us. And the fact that you're listening to my podcast right now tells me that you have an imagination to break outside your current your current uh, structure and your current boundaries in, inside of you to try to get a new outlook on on the car business. Being imaginative, think about all the concepts and ideas and possibilities that are out there for you as a car salesperson. But sometimes these things to be imaginative, to have a big imagination in the car business, makes you look. Uh, you could be embarrassed a little bit. Oh, look at there's that guy doing TikToks again. Oh, there's that sales lady doing TikToks. Well, guess what? They start building a fan base. Every time uh, I can preach this in my episodes, which you've heard me say before, become the local celebrity in your town. And guess what starts happening? Oh, man, that funny person, that funny salesperson that makes those creative TikToks at the Chevy dealership. Go see that guy, man. He's 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 awesome. He's transparent. He, he's 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 a celebrity. Right? They're not going to say you're a celebrity, but they watch you all the time. They follow you. So be be creative and be 
and have a big imagination, not only in just doing things that are imaginative, like creating TikToks or, or reels or funny pictures or creative, uh, you know, videos and photos and, and just new ideas, right? But what about thinking big and thinking, I want to make a million dollars a year. I want to make $500,000 a year in the car business. You're probably thinking that's impossible, but it's not. Nothing is impossible if you have the imagination. Imagination, people that have an imagination are the highest paid people on the planet. Think about Elon Musk. What kind of imagination does that guy have? Think about uh, Jeff Bezos when he was thinking of Amazon. What a goofy name to call a website, Amazon.com. But his imagination transcended the general uh, idea of, of business and, and <clears throat> normal structure. And look at these guys. They are very imaginative. So think of different things and be creative and, and have a rich imagination on things that you can do at your dealership to go outside the box. There's a lady I follow on on uh, Instagram. Her name is Megan or Meg. She works at a Nissan dealership. And I remember one of her early posts or a post a few years ago or a year ago, she was talking about people... Uh, I forget how the TikTok or the reel went, but she was basically saying, oh, people at the dealership saying that that's never going to work. You're never going to sell cars off TikTok or, or Instagram or Facebook reels. And then she gets salesman of the month multiple times and she's killing it. Hmm, is there a connection there? Well, the haters are going to say no. It's just she got lucky or she got spoon fed or she has more internet leads. But think about what she's doing. She's sharpening her skills on social media talking about products which makes you learn your products no one wants to get on a video and not know their inventory and not know their product so so you're forced to learn your product before you do an online walk around or a short presentation of a vehicle you're sharpening your skills you're becoming a local celebrity and you're using your imagination okay to to reach new people all right let's move on being creative what about being innovative right innovative means thinking of new ideas what what has what is something in the car business that hasn't been done before it takes time to figure that out most of the trends that happen somebody has to think of that idea first right the ice bucket challenge or you know whatever these challenges are these things someone had to think of it to start the trend why can't you think of it it's because we don't allow ourselves enough time during the day to think of new trends or to think of new ideas and be innovative in getting new customers in front of us. Can we all agree? I can't see you, but raise your hand if when you are when you have a customer in front of you, you're pretty darn good at, at, at face-to-face interactions. Raise your hand out there. Take a moment. Think about it. If I have a customer in front of me, am I pretty good at doing a car deal? Am I pretty good at closing? Am I pretty good at doing a walk around? Am I pretty good at doing a product presentation and demo drive? Can we all agree we're all pretty good at it? Some are experts, some are learning, some are pros, some are in the middle, right? But we can all agree we're pretty good when we have a customer in front of us. So what is the real challenge in the car business? It's getting someone in front of us. We spend a lot of our days by ourselves just trying to get a customer in front of us. So if you can be innovative and put yourself out there and be creative and think of new ideas, then you can get get more people in front of you. Because if we all agree we're all pretty good with people in front of us, then all we have to work on is getting people in front of us. Be innovative, think of new ideas, think of trendy things that you can start. Be a, an originator in an idea in your town. And remember, localize your videos. A lot of people will do a video based on you know, a trend or a picture based on a trend, but make sure you localize it. Go to a place in your town that's recognizable to anyone that that's from that place. Oh, I remember that place. That's the Golden Arch with the bear on it. That's Lodi, California. Oh, I remember that. That's the 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 place in Bakersfield, whatever that place is called, the Golden Palace or whatever it is. But you know, every town has its own own different place. San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. If you live in the Bay Area, you better be doing videos in front of that Golden Gate Bridge. That that bridge is one of the most famous bridges on the planet, right? If you live near uh, <clears throat> Uh, Mount Rushmore, I don't know how far it is away from a nor- uh, local dealership, but that's your localization. That's how you can get creative and innovative. People that live in New York can't do a video about uh, Mount Rushmore. People that live in Florida can't do a video about the Golden Gate Bridge. This is where being innovative and creative can come in. Localize, use what you have around you as a source of of advertising and being creative. Okay, now here's a big one. Here's a big one and probably one of my favorites in being creative. P- 
people that are very creative and good at sales are some of the most dangerous people I've ever met in sales. The reason why is because no matter what scenario is thrown at them, thrown at them with the customer or, or uh, a product or, or something, good or bad, they, a scenario is thrown at a very creative person. They're excellent at problem solving because they can think on the fly. They can think immediately of how to resolve this, how to solve this problem, or uh, I have a third party story that can help you make your decision, Mr. Customer. I just had a customer that went through the same thing and I don't want you to have to go through that same thing, so here is a solution before you run into the problem, right? People that are creative can be ex excellent problem solvers. So think about, think about when you're being creative and you're thinking of new ideas, Try to think on the fly with these people that may have an issue. Yeah, I'm looking at, a, at your cars, but you don't have a black one in stock. What does a creative salesperson do when they don't have the right color in stock? I just actually went over this with a salesperson. We brought it up in the sales meeting. Well, it sounds like you're interested in dark colors, right? You've acknowledged that they want black. Okay, you're looking for black. It sounds like you want uh, something that's in a dark color. If you have something in black, go show them the black vehicle. If you know you don't have something in black because you're great with your inventory, then throw something out there like, yeah, it sounds like you want a dark color, right? Let me, let's go see if we can find a black car. Knowing that you don't, you can start pointing out the darker colors. Man, that thing almost looks black from this angle. Is that black? And you guys get closer and the customer finds out it's an extremely dark green and they happen to love green and they love black. And guess what? Boom, they're test driving the ultra dark green that looks black from certain angles. So you, those are little things to be creative uh, when you're on the car lot and and uh, be innovative in, in what you're doing Be and be a problem solver. Okay, here's another one, risk taking. Now I'm not talking about risking your life or risking your job or risking someone's health or happiness. What I'm talking about is taking risks, explore areas and territories that other people are afraid of doing, right? When TikTok came out, there was a car salesperson that put the first TikTok out there about the car business. Something funny, something serious, product or just himself. Somebody did it. Someone took a risk and said, you know what? I'm in the car business. I'm gonna get on TikTok and, and make a video. Someone took the risk to do it. Are you doing that now? Is that something out of your comfort zone? I'm only using TikTok as an example right now because it's fresh on my mind because I just watched a video of how TikTok uh, can, can make a business go viral. There's been businesses that have changed their trajectory of success based on one viral video. It is crazy how it works. And if you're not trying to fight and take those risks and put yourself out there because it's out of your comfort zone, then you're missing you're missing something big and great. Think about all the places you can make a reel. Reels are hot. Facebook reels, Instagram reels, TikTok. Uh, what else is there? I don't know if LinkedIn does it. Uh, Reddit's even getting into short form videos. There's a lot of places where you can post videos and content of yourself, but you gotta be willing to do it. You gotta be able to, to take some risks. Now, I work with some of my salespeople that are in their 50s at my dealership. They don't know how to make reels, but guess what? They're doing it now and they're having a blast doing it. Uh, one of my guys, Jerry Hayes, I think he's 56 or 57, super awesome guy. Uh, he did a Facebook reel that got 48,000 views on, I think it was a Challenger or a Charger, um, wide body Hellcat, a sick car. But think about how many people 50,000 is. We, we get so worried about, oh my gosh, the celebrities have a million views or two million views. Who the heck cares about the celebrities? Think about for a business or a dealership to be able to reach 50,000 people, how much money they would have to spend to reach 50,000 people. You could do it with one cool video, but you gotta be willing to put yourself out there. Jerry Hayes um, is getting more and more comfortable with putting himself on camera instead of just the vehicles. So he's done some voiceover videos, and now he's working on getting himself out there and putting himself uh, in the line of fire, taking some risk and getting some results. 50,000 people that see your phone number and see your website, let's say only 1% of those people actually do something about it. Okay, that's 500. Now let's say out of the 500, only five people end up buying. That's five people. So Jerry's video got saw uh, witnessed by 50,000, 5,000 actually clicked on something, 500 took action, and 1% of that bought. One, five deals off one TikTok or viral video. So make sure you guys are doing stuff 
to explore new areas, some new innovative solutions on problems. A lot of salespeople will sit around and say, oh, the, the, the lot's slow right now. It's slow. There's nothing, there's nothing happened. I only took one up in the last three days. Okay, so if you only took one up in the last three days, that means you had, what, 20 or 30 hours of downtime? Okay, let's say you did 10 hours of follow-up, so you had 20 hours of downtime. Did you do anything in those 20 hours to be innovative, to, to, to solve a problem? To have an open mind, to be imaginative, to be curious, you know, and, and think of new things, right? These are the things I'm talking about when it comes to being creative. Okay, now here's a very, uh, very important thing that we have to cover when, you be, when you're being creative, and that's being original. If you are a cookie cutter, which we see these people on these videos, uh, people will scroll right past you. If you are a cookie cutter on the lot and you're helping a customer, they're going to want to think about it because they just interacted with a salesperson just like you. So you still have to be yourself, especially when you're in front of a customer on the lot. You need to be yourself and think of what what makes you you, what makes you original, what makes you uh, a tick, and expand on expand on those uh, personality traits that make you unique. Expand on those personality traits that people like about you and start introducing that into your sales pitches. I have a salesperson named Jeremy. Uh, he's been in the car business only for a couple years. He is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my entire life, but he's yet to use that fully in his in his uh, selling pitches. I know he throws a few in there, a little salt and pepper in there, but he's not using that Jeremy that I get to see with those customers. And the moment he starts doing what I know he can do, he's going to destroy the car sales business because what, what makes Jeremy Jeremy is absolutely amazing. He's funny. He's, uh, he's got a great sense of humor. He's very creative. But he's holding back in front of the customers, which means the customers are not seeing a, an original person. They may get little glimpses of it, but when that man decides, I'm going to be Jeremy in front of these customers, he is going to destroy the car sales business. And that goes the same for you. There is something holding you back from being what makes you you. And I'm going to relate it to practice. We don't practice enough being us. We have to conform to how dealerships want us to act. We have to conform to the way we got trained. We have to conform to society and, and oh yeah, that's not how salespeople act. Well, of course it's not, but I don't want to sell 10 cars a month. I want to sell 30 cars a month. So I'm going to be me and I'm going to make uh, all the things that make me uh, me I'm going to expand on it in my sales pitches, if that makes sense, and be creative and let my personality shine. Now, here's something that I challenge all of you salespeople to do. If you want to get good at thinking on your feet and being creative, do this. Do this. Go home. Has everyone played the game charades? Everyone in the family, let's say there's three or four people, they write down characters on little pieces of paper and fold them up, no one can see them but themselves, and they throw them in a, in a hat or a box. And then another family member stands up, right? They're, they're on stage and they have to grab one of these papers out of the box and they open it up. And let's say it says uh, uh, Al Pacino, right? So on the fly, you have to think in this game of charades how to act like Al Pacino. Tony Montana, right? Uh, I mean, that's probably a bad example and a bad impersonation, but you get what I'm saying. And then and then when they guess it, the person that guesses it gets to go up and try and do theirs, right? So they pull a thing out of the hat and it's Bugs Bunny or it's or it's uh, Michael Jordan or whoever it is that they pull out of this hat. That is how you get creative in being able to think on the fly. If you play that game once a week, I promise you your creative skills and your think on the fly mindset will multiply. And here's what it also does is it breaks you out of your comfort zone because most people don't want to play this game because they don't want to get judged. Oh, you did a horrible job doing the Tony Montana impersonation, Kyle. So I did it in front of thousands of people on Spotify, right? I just did it right now. I put myself out there. Will I get criticized? Sure. Tony Montana, mine, right? How many people are going to make fun of my impersonation? But at least I'm trying it. Okay, what about the Godfather? Listen, okay, do me a favor. <laughs> I'm having fun. This is the kind of stuff you need to do in front of your in front of your uh, your clients, in front of your bosses, in front of yourself, in front of your family to prove yourself that you are a creative person and sharpen those skills. Thank you guys for supporting the podcast. 
I look forward to doing the next episode here. Uh, Season 5, Episode 4, Being Creative. Kyle Gloss, signing out.